right guys, I'm here in Kiribati and I'm just waiting for Mary's Motel to come pick me up. This is what the front entrance looks like. Kind of a very small little um, airport that they have here. Not a lot to do, but gets the job done. So that's all that matters.
So cute, <laughs> little piggly wiggly. So cute. This is really cool. This is a convent where the nuns live, the sisters of Carabas. Really interesting. There's a little cat, a little island cat. Oh, this is where the president of Carabas lives. Oh, neat. And it's right next to the three embassies. They have. Uh, New Zealand, um, Australia, and China. So the three embassies in China replaced um, uh, Taiwan. So lots of government official buildings here. Very cool. Okay, guys. So I just got to Tarawa, Kiribati. It's pronounced Kiribati, not Kiribati. You'll hear it pronounced both ways, but it's supposed to be Kiribati. Um, Basically, the TI makes the S sound. So if you see the, the TI in any of the words here, um, it's the S sound. I'm at Mary's Motel, and this place is rated really, really well um, on Google reviews. Um, I don't know. There, again, I can't be that choosy because there's just not a lot of hotels here to choose from. There is an eco lodge here, but it didn't have AC. Um, and it's quite literally a hut that you can sleep in. So I was thinking about staying there, but this seemed like a better idea. So. Anyways, this is okay. It has AC. It's not great, but I mean, it kind of just is what it is. Um, you, you know, you just can't be too too picky or too, too choosy. Um, but this is the bathroom. This is what it looks like. That's the shower. Um, toilet. There's like a little mirror, sink. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like here. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm staying here for three nights. Um, I'm really excited for Kiribati. Let me turn you guys around so I can talk to you guys. So you guys, when I got out of the airport, um, I met the three sweetest sisters or nuns. Uh, they are called the Sisters of Kiribati and they live here in Tarawa and they were telling me all about, you guys probably heard it in the um, the little video, the intro video, I'll put it before this video, um, but you probably heard, but they were just telling me all about Kiribati, the, the politics here. They were telling me all about how the Chinese are moving in and building their buildings and their supermarkets here. And, you know, some people aren't very happy about it. Um, they were just giving me the whole lowdown on Kiribati. So I really, really appreciate that. That local insight is um, just priceless. So um, yeah, that was really interesting. They invited me to go see a performance at the high school, St. Mary's uh, High School tomorrow. Um, so I might try to go over and see that. I don't know if I'll have time because I have a couple other things that I have to do tomorrow, but um, I'm really, really excited, you guys. They have so much water surrounding their islands um, that it's the largest ratio, than, larger ratio than any other country in the entire world. Um, so super, super special place. Um, very, very pretty. I cannot wait because everybody's just out in the water, just kind of swimming and doing their thing. Um, so I'm definitely going to take my snorkeling gear and get out in the water tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just so excited for this. I cannot wait. I think this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to head down to their restaurant that they have here at Mary's Motel. They have all kinds of local fish, local shellfish and clams. Um, they also have jackfruit here. Jackfruit is a really popular uh, produce. So I'll probably try to find some jackfruit. Uh, they have it in the Caribbean as well. It's very, very tropical here. It rains a whole bunch, lots of greenery, lots of vegetation. Um, so lots of jackfruit because that's where, it's, where it grows the best, right? Um, but I might also check out the Chinese supermarket. There's um, a Chinese supermarket and a Chinese restaurant. So you guys, it's the next morning and I went to go take a shower and there's no, there's no knob on the shower. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder like how long they've gone without, um, oh, there it is. There's the shower knob. Oh no. Sometimes I wonder how long they've gone like in some of these hotel rooms without ever doing a deep clean. Cause I feel like this, I feel like, I mean, I, I assume that they come in and clean sometimes, but it's like a light cleaning. And I don't think that they've ever like mopped, like swept the floor. Like, yeah. Ugh. 
can't wait to get out of here to be honest. So you guys, I tried to take a shower in this place and I just wanted to show you the color of the water. That's not for me, you guys. The water tastes salty and I think that they're, I think they're trying to treat like, I don't even know, I, I have no idea what's going on here, but the water tastes salty and I assume that it's coming from the ocean somehow. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit shocked. Uh, this is, this is a first for me, but, um, yeah, I'm going to do some research and try to figure out why, what's going on here. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is what happened. All right, guys. So it is the next day and I want to go out to this grocery store and this restaurant that's owned by the Chinese over here in Kiribati. Um, but the driveway to get to the main street <laughs> is like completely flooded. So I'm going to have to walk through some water to get there. Um, that brown side, that's like a shadow. It's not, it's not dirt. So anyways, this is going to be fun. Uh, I don't have a blow dryer in this hotel room, so I'm just going out with wet hair. And uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my, uh, my salt water shower. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but I, I think I'm going to try to go find some like wet wipes or something like that. Cause I don't really want to do that again. And I feel like it just like made my hair like salty. I don't know. It's, a, it's, been, it's been a long day and it's only been one day here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go try to find the supermarket and uh, yeah, we'll go explore around. Also you guys, this is the view when I come out of my hotel. There's some housing over here, or not housing, but um, there's like some some roofs and stuff over here. Oh, maybe I don't have to go through that giant water puddle. Oh, heck yeah. So happy. Okay. Okay, let's go. So this part is called Bay Ricky. And this is the capital um, of Kiribati. Right now we're walking down the main road <laughs> just to get to the supermarket. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Everyone here is so happy. There's so many young people here. <laughs> this place is very cute. This is a very cute place, honestly. People here are really, really friendly. There's one of the local city buses that can take you around if you, um, I think it's 20, 20 cents to get on the bus, 20 Australian cents. But yeah, super little cute place, really friendly people. All right, guys, let's go over to Ocean Family. It's a seafood restaurant. Let's go get some fish. Redfish, but I think it's red snapper. I might be wrong. It looks beautiful. I'm so excited to try this. First time I've seen Claw Guard off brand of Colgate. <laughs> So this is the supermarket that's owned by the Chinese that a lot of people don't agree with here in Kiribati. Um, this is probably their biggest and most organized grocery store here. 
I don't know if they have any other grocery stores. I haven't been to the northern part. They might have more up there. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks like inside. Okay, guys. So I went to the grocery store, the super mall, or the supermarket. I think it's called the super mall. Um, but they had all kinds of stuff in there that I've never even seen before. You guys, these are called Snickers pods. I don't even think we have these. It comes in a little, some kind of little pod. I'm going to try this though. This is brand new. I've never seen anything like this before. So they have that. They also had these Doritos. I've also never seen these before. Have I just not been aware? Like what, like, I don't know how I haven't seen these, but they're called original salted. I don't even think we have these. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm not sure. And then this is new too. These are called uh, flat tops. And I think these are, these, oh, these are from the Philippines. Yeah, they're called flat tops from the Philippines. I didn't try these when I was in the Philippines, so I'm gonna try them now. This is um, chocolate ice cream. Okay, it says umbrella stand. I was just curious what this was. It just looked interesting. So um, I had to try this and it has two lovers on the front kissing. Actually, it looks like little little kids on the front. So it's kind of weird, but anyways, um, they have that. And, and then these things are called red peach. Um, these are made in China, but these are little tiny peaches inside. And I've never seen a red peach before and they're really tiny. So I wanted to try these and see how they are. Um, so yeah, let's try some of these. Okay guys, so I started with this um, ice cream umbrella. It's quite literally just a, an ice cream cone. I thought it was gonna have like something else in it, but it's like a, well, obviously you put ice cream, you put a scoop of ice cream in there and then inside the cone, it's chocolate inside. I didn't realize that this was like an actual ice cream cone, but yeah, this is what it looks like. But now I know, I didn't know what it was. Um, this is the flat top from the Philippines. This is like a little milk chocolate thing. Hmm. All that is is just chocolate. It's good, but it's just a, it's just a chewy piece of chocolate. These look, these are like melted. These are those Snickers pods. Oh. It's like a baked wafer on the outside. And then on the inside, it's a Snickers. I'm trying to figure out if I like this or not. Not really. It doesn't taste like a Snickers inside. I feel like it's missing the nuts or something. I'm, I'm not sure. These are original salted Doritos. I have never heard of original salted Doritos. I. I thought the original Dorito was the nacho cheese Dorito. It's just a chip with salt on it. <laughs> it's not special. Also, you guys, I've just realized every single one of these had the packaging open. Like, I didn't see this in the store, but like, there's a hole in the bag. And then these ones had a hole. Um, that a hole over here, like I, I made it bigger and opened it more, but the, that had a hole in it. It's really weird, <laughs> like all the stuff that I bought had like holes in the bags. I don't know if people are going inside and like making holes in them or what. This is a red peach. I'm really excited for this. I've never seen one of these. It's It feels like a peach. The outside is fuzzy. Oh my god. Oh, mm-mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. You guys, it's... Oh, the, good. The power just came on. The power keeps going out in this hotel, you guys. Uh, I have two more nights here, and then I, I leave to go to Tonga. Okay, guys. So we're going down just the main road up to Beto right now. I think it's pronounced Beto. It's about a 45-minute walk, and this is one of the Really thinnest strips of land that they have here. I was kind of surprised from Google Maps that there's even a place to walk along this really narrow road, but there is. Really, really pretty. Hey, 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 so 
Look kind of nice if you wanted to, you could walk along the beach all the way up to Berio. a little bit sad but it looks like there's some people who are living alongside the beach here and I'm noticing a lot of them are women some of them have children they have like little tents set up along the beach oh, you guys I don't think I've ever seen a place quite like this what's amazing is that I don't think that this is a well it is a bridge what we're walking on right now is a bridge but um, this piece of land, this little strip of land, is natural. All the sand down there, it's just a natural beach, right? So, even though they added this uh, little strip for cars to come through, I think before it was here, I think you could almost just walk out to this little bit of land over here um, and come see it. It's, it's a really unique place. It's just the, the island itself is so, so long. It takes about an hour to get from the capital all the way to the airport, even though it's such a, a tiny, it's a tiny island, but it's very, very long. So in actual reality, when you try to get from place to place, it takes quite a long time, especially in comparison to places like uh, Chuuk or, um, you know, Majuro, that those places are so small, you can drive through them relatively easily and quickly. But this takes a little bit more time. Really interesting place, though. Really cool to come see this. Look at the change in watercolor, you guys. It goes from that deep blue to this kind of turquoisey green. And it's just so shallow. You can see all the little rocks at the bottom. Such a shallow piece of water over here. So pretty though. And then of course this thing is here. I, th I think this is the part where the bridge is built. I don't know if there was, I don't know if there was land here. I'd like to see a map um, before the bridge was here just to see what this little bit looked like if there was land here, if this was completely covered in water. I imagine if there was some land, obviously during the high tides, it's gonna be covered with water sometime. Um, but yeah, super interesting. I, I'm kind of just trying to figure out if they were able to get over to this other part, this um, Betio part before this bridge was here. Um, just trying to figure out if I'm gonna come over here and it's gonna be like a, a time warp or a, if everything's gonna be kind of on track with the rest of the island as far as uh, infrastructure wise and, um, you know, everything else. Really, really cool to come see this though. I mean, such an amazing uh, little hidden place. You'd never expect this. Ah, uh, that's not good, so much garbage. That's the reason why these islands are so nice, is because there's not garbage and they're kind of unspoiled, but uh, if that continues, it's going to be just like any other place in the Caribbean or around the world. That's kind of disappointing. There's garbage along the, uh, the entire beach side, especially in these trees. Like, there's a whole bunch over there. There's a lot of everything there. There's some along here. Basically along the entire beach there's a bunch of garbage everywhere. Kind of sad. All right guys we're coming up to a little checkpoint and it says no littering although I can smell cigarette smoke. Let's go see if it's true if people really haven't been littering or not. I'm curious. All right I guess the sign that said no littering didn't necessarily work. Uh, that's, a, that's a shame. Kind of a bummer. I think I'm gonna go head over. Oh, there's the Japanese flag. Some old Japanese. Uh, I should go over there and see what that plaque is. I think I will. Um, there's a Horizon Cafe up here. I'm gonna stop at, go get some water and some food or some breakfast. Even though it's like 3.30 p.m. I woke up late, you guys. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna go look at the beaches up here. Uh, the project for reconstruction of the, oh, okay. Okay, so this causeway was created uh, pretty recently. What? You guys, in 2019, that's exactly what I was wondering when that causeway was created. It was 2019 and it was done by Japan. Look at that. Project of reconstruction of the Nippon, Nippon Causeway. Grant aid from the people of Japan as a token of friendship and cooperation between Japan and the Republic of Kiribati. Oh, I love that. And if you guys don't know, Japan and China are not the best of friends. So I bet it's a little bit of a competition on this island between Japan and China to, uh, you know, to spread their influence here. There's a lot of Chinese owned, uh, owned businesses here. And then of course the, the uh, Japanese have come over here and helped with causeways. So seems like both of them are kind of competing for uh, the, um, uh, you know, their, their cultures to take place here. Yeah, the no littering thing didn't really help. They should hire somebody to come pick up this trash every day. That's, that's a necessary. All right, this place is called Horizon Cafe. Let's go get some food. All right, guys, so right now we're walking to go see a World War II Japanese machine gun. Uh, this might be it. I don't think so. We'll find it. <laughs> to this World War II Japanese machine gun. There's a whole bunch of equipment and stuff flying out here around it. I don't know why they choose this place to store all of their like little trailers or whatever these are called. Ah, here it is. All right, ooh, look at this thing, you guys. This is huge. they have all these pipes and all this stuff laying out around here like this is not the place for that <laughs> it's like a tourist place uh, okay let's try to get over this so we can go see this historical gun oh look at this thing you guys it's huge Can you imagine operating one of those all by yourself? Oh my gosh, you guys, they have these little pokey things and they hurt. And now I have to pull them all out. I didn't realize I was walking through them when I was over there. Right up the street, there's a national tourist office for Kiribati. I'm kind of curious to see what's, uh, well, uh, what they plan over there or what they say is um, their tourist activities around here. I haven't found too much stuff except for World War II memorabilia, which is kind of cool. Um, but I'm curious to see what, what they have over there. So, let's go over there. Oh, poor little dog. They're so skinny here. I wish I had food to feed all of them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, I went to go into that tourism shop and there was a whole family sleeping in there. There was a mom and a dad outside um, sleeping and then there was a little baby on the inside. I felt so bad. They had their little like baby, like one-year-old, sleeping inside the tourism shop. And then they just said, oh, just come back tomorrow. I tried to ask, like, do you have a brochure or, you know, what what is there to do around here for tourism? And the guy just... He just wouldn't answer me. He just stared at me. <laughs> oh. It's a different way of life here. If you're not used to this, it can kind of throw you off when you come visit. I think we're walking past the LDS church right here. I think this is the LDS church. Let's see. They have so many young people here, so many babies. Yeah, this is the LDS church. All the LDS churches on the islands, they always have a basketball court. I think that's normal for all LDS churches. They always have like some kind of basketball court or something inside their church. I don't know what that's for. If somebody knows if, if there are any uh, Latter-day Saints watching this video, tell me why you have basketball courts everywhere. I have no idea. This is the, 
the Tio Betio. I don't know how to say it. This is their town council over here where they meet and they have all their town meetings. <laughs> huh. Here's one of the buses. This is one of the local buses over to the left that you can take. I think I'm gonna take one of those going back, but coming here, I wanted to come see everything on the way. Here's something, I don't know what this is. Looks like a place for meetings or something. A lot of these little huts there's actually a eco lodge that you can go stay in i was thinking about staying in it it's right off the water um it's over near north Kiribati, but i didn't do it because they don't have ac and of course uh, there's no wi-fi so yeah i skipped out on that but if you look at some other vlogs from Kiribati, you'll probably see that eco lodge in some of them because it's a pretty i don't know touristy or it's a pretty scenic thing to come do here in Kiribati. so i don't know if you're here maybe you want to stay at an eco lodge but you just have to get ready for no, air, no AC and no Wi-Fi um, if you do that. I'm not sure about the bathroom and the shower situation. They probably have an outdoor shower, I would assume, but I don't know. I'm not really, not certain about that. Uh, here's St. Paul's Church here in Caribous. This is one of the many Catholic churches that they have here. Catholicism is the largest religion here in Caribous. the church here. This is a Japanese command bunker. It was destroyed by the U.S. Naval um, in 1943. All the senior officers were killed. Huh. Looks like it might be closed today because it's Sunday, but it's kind of kind of interesting, kind of cool to see this. Yeah, it looks like it's locked. There's so many little kids here. They come up to you go, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> So many young people here. I think they've just had like the biggest baby boom you could ever imagine here. It's crazy. They don't understand English that well. <laughs> okay, we're headed over to the King's Supermarket and then I'm gonna go over to a cafe um, over here in the north. I think it's called Luba's Cafe. But yeah, this is. It's different. I mean, it's it's the same, but it's different. Um, every single island kind of has residential areas that are pretty similar to this. You'll see, you know, the clothes hanging out on the fires, and uh, there's mostly most of the time it's people who are outside in their yards, kind of like hanging out. Um, the other thing that I've heard here a lot, and this sounds weird, but I've heard people like fighting in their homes a lot. <laughs> Like, I keep hearing, like, husbands and wives fighting, which is, I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of sad. Oh, you guys, I was going to go to this King supermarket, but it's closed. <laughs> I think it's probably closed because it's a Sunday. I don't know. I'm going to go head up to this cafe, see if I can go sit down and get a drink. Oh, there's some abandoned buildings over here. Lots of this stuff back here in the background. I think this might be Lupa Cafe, but it's not open today. It might just be because it's Sunday, or a lot of these things that are on Google Maps might just be shut down. They didn't, they didn't uh, take down their listing. I'm not sure. Huh. I think I'm gonna head back to the capital. There wasn't a whole bunch to see up here. There's a, that World War II um, bunker, uh, the Japanese bunker and the Japanese machine gun. Those, those were kind of cool to come see. But other than that, not not too much to come see down this way. Just the places that they have a Google map 
things just aren't here in real life. Like I tried to go down to that Chinese restaurant. It's called the Capitol Grill. And when you get down there, it's next to the, I think it's called the Beidio, or the Beidio, I don't know, hotel. Um, but there's no, there's not actually a restaurant down there. So anyways, all the places that I was gonna go check out today, besides the World War II memorials, which of course are always there, um, a lot of it just wasn't, wasn't here. But it was interesting to come see the residential areas. Um, definitely a unique place to come check out. I'm gonna head back to my hotel and probably go eat at that same restaurant that I went to last night. Here's the Wishing Star Supermarket. <laughs> There's just not a lot here to do. I mean, it's kind of like any any other island, but I was expecting a little bit more, um, a little bit more historical places to go see around here. Maybe I, will, maybe I will go into their supermarket and see what they have. Let's go see what the Wishing Star Supermarket is all about. I will say that a lot of the places in the South Pacific, um, a lot of the islands in Oceana, they do take credit card, which is really, really nice because even some places like Timor Leste, um, places around Asia, they, they usually don't take a credit card. So it is really nice that they um, are advanced in that way, that every almost every place takes a credit card, with exception, of course, that not every place is gonna take a credit card, but a lot do. This is really funny. They have Curabus Green Energy Solutions. Like, you look around a place like this and you're, you're thinking, I mean, is that really their number one problem, is being green? <laughs> it's just kind of unrealistic to think that these places are going to turn to a, some kind of green or natural energy source. Or at least not anytime soon, not until they get all the other, you know, all of the other issues with the place worked out. I'm sure that that's sponsored by Australia, probably. Maybe Japan or China, but probably Australia. you guys they were very nice I didn't have Australian dollars so I tried to give them USD um, but they wouldn't accept it and they didn't charge me for the ride so I feel kind of bad because I wanted to pay them but I don't think they wanted the USD I tried to explain to them that it was still worth you know it was still worth something <laughs> it's a global currency but yeah they didn't they didn't really care <laughs> they didn't they didn't know what I was saying I put out the little please make up room sign outside of my door so that they could come clean and they just decided not to, so. Uh, okay, it's another, another night. One more night though, only one more night with a dirty, dirty room. Yeah. Ugh. Oh well. One more night, then I had to Fiji and Tonga. I have a layover in Fiji. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to